Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. In the last video, we, uh, well, we opened about 37 different cult stashes. And, uh, we rescued this lady from a closet where she was hiding. She's from the Federal Bureau of Control. We got a new pump action shotgun, which I really like. Uh. Hey, wait a second. This is the kind of case my ex hated. Don't That's Mr. Door right there. <sighs> That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. In this video, we'll probably switch to Alan. Um, but we might putz around as uh, Saga for a minute or two. Reading some emails. Do not microwave whole fish. I shouldn't have to say this. Mulligan owes me 20 bucks and refuses to pay it back. I suggest we dog his pay for that amount, plus interest, and add it directly into my paycheck. You guys ever seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Mulligan and Thornton remind me of Scully and Hitchcock on that show. They're just, they're both two doofuses. Thornton doesn't remember I already paid him back by buying him lunch months ago, so don't listen to him and definitely do not touch my pay or I swear to God I'll sue. The front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. Remember to wash your coffee mugs. I missed the sink on Deerfest safety prep last time. Any updates? What's the latest on crowd control? Whoever put bayonets into the suggestion box was clearly kidding, right? Right? I understand there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high-tech top security nonsense this stuff's not safe one power outage and those locks aren't budging i've warned you about this a half a dozen times now don't blame me when you're locked in with no way out officer cooper thanks officer cooper uh-oh there's no way out that way um see i read this already right yeah all right alan wake all right speaking of alan wake Hang on, we gotta, we gotta get in here. We got the prison cell key. Time to collect some documents. Transcript of interview with subject, Al Wake. Suspected para-utilitarian. <laughs> they freaking love it. I'm not reading this. I'm happy for you, or sorry that happened. Is that it, though? Here, we'll, we'll see if there's anything interesting. Mr. Wake, you've been taken into FBC custody. Uh, there's a force you don't understand. The presence is after me. It wants to consume me. So, of course, now this is Scratch that they were interviewing, uh, posing as Alan. It feeds on artists, on the art they create. Let's see. We're aware of this entity. We've been trying the situation. You mentioned the light switch earlier. Where is it? I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? He's all about the clicker here. Mr. Wake, you are in custody. <laughs> You're not fucking listening to me. We are listening just fine. Do you have any accomplices? Fuck you. Let me the fuck out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview was terminated due to the subject being uncooperative. Yeah, he, he was... You know, now that I'm reflecting on it, he was really the lake talking about is a that clicker. to the dark place. Let's see, a surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, unknown threshold, past acceptable limits, attempts to contact FPC research facility, codenamed the lake house, run successful. Wait, didn't we read this? Okay. K. Estevez will mobilize, investigation unit beta, confirm an active event, right, so this is all that happened before they got what there. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Thank you. It's the question of the age. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord with part of the severed cord still attached. Um, eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality. The change is being based on redacted when used by a capable para-utilitarian. Maybe, maybe the case board will tell us. Um, I get I me. Mean, I'm guessing it's a para-utilitarian sounds like somebody that can use paranormal equipment like the clicker to alter reality. But wouldn't that be anybody? So, like, not just anybody can use the clicker? Hmm. 
Um, yeah, let's see. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. It is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. The light switch is a possible OOP, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on secondhand accounts. So, what part of this was supposed to blow my mind? Estevez acted like this was gonna, it was just, it was gonna blow my mind. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of Awe 35, additional details regarding the shadow have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both presidents during the AWE reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland, was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake. Research staff has concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting a human form. Ooh, some It Follows shit. Creepy. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Hmm. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. Or, the shadow can manifest as any individual contained within Cauldron Lake. They're not sure which one it is. That's interesting. Damn. You know... Wow. Um... The poor Koskelas. Would did both of them die, or just Yako? I think they both died. We gotta come up with a new plan, apparently. Um, so let me... Let me just do that real quick. It's just easier this way. Do we have profiling to do? No. We'll go to the case board. We'll get everything, all of our ducks in a row, and then I'll switch to Alan. Okay? Wake attacked. Was it scratch or wake? Well, it was very obviously scratch, wasn't it? Where's the real Alan Wake? He's in the dark place. We're about to play as him. Dark presence assumed the form of Barbara Jagger. Wake is trapped in the dark place. Okay, glad we could get that conclusion. Wake is trapped in the dark place. Right. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Uh huh. Casey, the thing that attacked Casey had Wake's face. There was never any Wake. It was scratched the entire time. Yes. Okay. Certainly possible. Wake has been contacting me from the dark place. How to rescue Wake. Um, threshold to another reality. Wake's in the dark place and Cauldron Lake is the threshold to it. Makes sense because we've done the bathtub, the pond, the lake, right? Um, Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake, the clicker. I need to know what information I can still trust. Hmm. Can anything quote Wake said be trusted? Clicker's still useful. According to the file, Wake has used the clicker to change reality before. Hmm. Looks like we got some profiling to do. From Tor? Eh, I guess we'll get his uh, thoughts, his input on the matter. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. Yes. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the Clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Okay. Um, going back to the case board. Okay, we still can't do that one, I don't think. Um, Cult of the Tree? It looks like we have something here. FBC file linking cult activity to Wake. We still don't know about Rose. Which is kind of weird. 
Um. Wait, is that not it? Uh. Rain prior ritual. Here we go. It's possible Wake is connected to the cult, but if Scratch is identical to Wake, then this could refer to either of them. Hmm. The story. FBC file on the clicker and its paranatural qualities. Um. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them right. permanent. The FBC brought powerful light arrays to subdue the Taken. Uh. Well, I guess that would go okay. here. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Yeah. Sure. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Uh, let me just do these real quick. I'm not gonna, like, look at each one of them. I'm just gonna put them down. Let's see how many cult stashes we have left, actually. This will be good to find out. Look at all these that we got in Bright Falls right here. Nice. Okay. Did I actually get all of them in Bright Falls? I did. I've got one in Cauldron Lake I still need to get. And I've got three in Watery. I didn't think I was that far behind. Damn, what about Nursery Rhymes? How many of these do we need? Let's see, this goes... There's, there's only so many in Bright Falls. Oh, did I get... All these are from Bright Falls. That's it. Okay, so that there's only one nursery rhyme I'm missing in Bright Falls. One in Watery. Two in Cauldron Lake. And then there's, there's still a doll I don't have. That's what weirds me out the most. What doll am I missing, you know? Anyway. Um, what is going on? Oh my gosh. I was just throwing that thing around. So yeah, none of this will matter once we play as Alan, though. We'll have entirely new collectibles. Or enti entirely new collectible, a.k.a. the, uh... Words of power, or whatever. Okay, um... Actually... There's not as many missing as I thought. There's only, like, six. Huh. Yeah, not bad. Okay. All right, we're all done. Farewell. I will quick save. Know anything about the clicker? Ugh. This again. You know what? Let's find a place to... I don't have to... Okay. I need to get a map. Where is a map? You think there'd be one? Oh my gosh, right here. Who is that? Oh, no, Ilmo's alive. I'm sorry about your brother, Ilmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. Time to come clean about the cult. Yeah, 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 that's enough mourning. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. It's like what I said from the very beginning. <laughs> Am I profiling you now? You're about to get tricked into another video of just Saga. No, Almost I promise you won't. Kills taken. We're gonna check in with Alan. Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater. A taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. 
Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. Okay. If the cult Great. is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? We, you already know this Private from the party. keyboard. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. Saga, you already know it's because the they didn't get to finish the ritual. They got interrupted by the bookers. Nightingale became a taken because the bookers interrupted their ritual. I'm glad we could cover this again. Alright, where is it? Oh. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Is there a janitor mop here? No. There's just a break room and shoebox. There's not a janitor mop. Well, that's annoying. I guess I have to go outside then for that. Okay, well, th will this say case closed here? Nine Gales already taken. <sighs> we already did this though. Oh, well, I guess we'll just officially do it here, right? Target people already corrupted by the dark presence. Their goal is to protect Doesn't the community. Sense. Oh, okay, my bad. Is Rose... Is Rose part of the cult? Kills Taken to protect Bright Falls and Watery. Ritual is meant to destroy Taken, not create them. Uh, right there. Right. Great. Okay. A new dialogue? Wow, there's a lot, actually. Okay, uh, we'll talk to him. I guess we'll talk to him, we'll talk to her, and then we'll leave. We'll find Janner's bucket, we'll check in with Alan. How long has the cult been altering? Well, he said 2013. But we'll go through the formality of asking again. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. It was genius. Was it genius? Just named it half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Oh. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. I guess it makes sense that you would know all about business. Why go after Alan Wake? Because he's scratch. Saga, I need you to catch up. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger Scratch is the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. Mm. The town still needs I'm gonna you. deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Okay. So, interestingly, Elmo has never heard of Scratch. So yeah, they weren't working for or with Wake or Scratch. The cult found Wake's pages inside Taken and believed he was the the cause. Uh, okay, so that explains that, I guess. I still want to know if Rose is part of it. I don't, I'm not certain that she is. How am I still missing stuff here? Come on. All right. Let's talk to uh, FBC agent over here. Scratch and told me out. the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. Uh, oh, we have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. Just call it the awe. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I guess I'll come up with a plan now. Uh, Wake and the Clicker. Okay.
The clicker can fix this. But I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Uh, again? Okay. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Okay. Awesome. Uh, back to the case board. All right. There you go. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. Is, is the voice actress for her is she is she from the UK? I feel like I feel like a little bit of an accent slips every now and then. It might just be like a regional US accent. Sometimes they can sound a little transatlantic. We'll try using clicker at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Okay, yeah, well. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. I just need to fix everything. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, 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 oh. But I'm so Alex. Okay. Of course Look, he's saying something about paperwork. This feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You're so serious. Are you, sure you have it all figured out? Look at those eyes. This is the beginning of the end game. Have we really done that much of I thought we were like halfway done. Didn't I say that in the last game or in the last video? Save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Okay, not yet. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um. Wow, that really shocks me. Honestly, I uh, I had no idea that we were that close to the end game. Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Costello brothers locked up in there. Anybody I saw them go in. Like about? You knows? were just asking that. If it's not one thing, Probably it's the other. The I think they've got the Costello brothers locked up. Okay, okay, so we've got go repeating in. dialogue. Thanks, guys. Thanks. You okay? Okay, I'm just not gonna ask you what you're doing. I'm not gonna bother. Look at this, dude. I mean, come on. Hell yeah. It really, it really does remind me a bit of like, this is kind of what Silent Hills would have looked like. Except you'd be running around as like Norman Reedus, right? And you wouldn't have like little lamp ladies and I'm gonna put my hand out and feel for the water and, and rando narcs with sunglasses around. Instead, you'd have, uh... Wait, what? I just randomly found a manuscript page? After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalin knew what he was up against. He oh. masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake. And a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalis sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged uh, it to alert them the that something that. was I didn't even think about the that. Lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. 
They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the They're cult caught someone nosy. taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. I see. Yeah, thanks. I, Cause I was wondering what the hell, how they figure this stuff out. Are you okay? Just, uh, just darkness. There's just darkness there. All right, guess what? That's right. Time to switch reality. Booyah. We haven't played this island in a while. In a hot minute. Where are we? Oh my god. We're in the middle of town. Okay. I've got a couple words of power to get. I swear I've gotten this one. I, I, I've I gotten this one over here. This one right here? There's an echo right outside. I've gotten this one. Yeah, there's like, there's like a bug, dude, because... I don't think I got this one. But I definitely got this one. I'll even prove it to you. Here I go. Oh, wow. I really don't have a whole lot of ammo. But you get the idea. All right, here it goes. See, because there's the alleyway. Where's the sky? The sky bridge is right here. It's right here. I got this one already. Yeah. I swear I did. Whatever. Um. Get to Parliament Tower. Okay, let's go there. That's Parliament Tower if you forgot. So we're gonna go th uh, towards it right now. We're doing okay, right? Yeah. I have a lot less loot in Alan's section than I do in Saga's. To be fair though, you play in Saga's section quite a bit longer than Alan's. You know, this whole area kind of reminds me a little bit of like the very first Twilight Zone episode. I think it's called, is anyone there or something like that? I think it's, um, cause it's a, it's a similar situation a little bit where you're like, you find yourself in a random town and nobody lives there. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'll say. You gotta watch it for yourself. No spoilers. <laughs> Okay. Return initiation six. Well, this is very confusing because we've been playing through the return chapters with Saga, but we've been playing through the initiation chapters with Wake, but now we get to the initiation chapter titled Return. Uh, right. Well, we'll just look past that, shall we? No, some PT. Uh, red room for developing. Allison turned the bathroom into a dark room. Is that so? Scratch. Okay. No, wait. No such things are too personal. The photos are me. Just need to show a glimpse. Make you see what's beneath the surface. And then there's a sticky note that says ochre. Fantastic. Fantastic job. Oh. Yeah, I need my flashlight out. The dark place. Right. I needed to get inside the manuscript. 
What now? See that that symbol I saw in the Valhalla nursing home, the spiral. Very interesting. Read some more emails. Everybody's got the same email client. Greetings from Hollywood. This is from Barry. Hey, Alice. I'm more of a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. <sighs> Ain't that the truth? And everything is so fucking great all the time, even when it's in fact the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for the Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tan zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware of how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply, for good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting. Your pal, Barry. This is a year later. Joined a cult. You're gonna think I've been replaced by an evil devil, but I've joined a cult and I love it. Joking about it being a cult, kind of. Blessed Wellness Retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. The best decision I ever made. I have never felt this good and well healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker. Not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of shit, but I have lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here. That something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially with after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn anyone to a conspiracy nut. Hope you're good over there. Come visit anytime. West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier mails. Your pal, Barry. A lot of emails from Barry here. Hey, Alice. Checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in nonstop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. How these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Your pal, Barry. Hey, Alice. Sharks circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or TV show and or get this a fucking video game. I told them to fuck off. It's so meta. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I've got you covered. How is everything? Hey, Alice. Everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm still doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Sorry about this. Sorry, okay? Life ain't fair sometimes. You're just gonna have to get over it. People get tired, all right? Fuck you. Oh, and if you want to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. Your pal, Barry. It's nice to hear from Barry, sort of. I'm guessing we're not going to see him in the game at all. If he's out in Allah. Doing Allah things. I'm out in Allah. For months after Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened. By the confusion. The shock. The... The guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. Did he cook you breakfast? I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. He still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Is that so? Love's weakness. Trigger when viewer close. Intimate. Hmm. Why do you have frames of scratch? Alice has consumed the apartment her whole life. 
Need to show you the truth. The darker, the better. Well, I've got my light off. So... One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. Eh. It was the Did perfect it really, image. Though? the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera. Yeah, you know, that kid doesn't have like a wide view perspective on the world, so. Yeah, just as long as we're clear on that. So I got her narrow view. There was something in the dark. Mm -hmm. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Yeah, you know, these could be a little longer. Just a little bit. They could be a little bit longer. Oh, wow. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. The dark place? Faces in the shadows. Garth Marenghi's dark place? Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... That vast paralyzing ocean but photography can freeze reality in a snapshot put a cage around the infinite and capture it I need to prove those faces are really there oh do I go in oh okay I guess this is next Is that spiral? presence escaping from the dark place taking over bright falls i couldn't remember writing it i had not written it i would never write this i knew who had scratch a monster with my face if this story came true scratch would get out people would die destroying the manuscript it wouldn't stop it from happening i would have to fix it edit it i could not change the genre of the story i'd have to work within the constraints set by scratch I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Okay. 
Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Right. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. Ow. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Okay. Can I can I open this? Oh, the words of power. Oh, well, I don't have any to spend. Wow. There's so many that I haven't found. I assume that you can find enough to upgrade all of them? Zane has said we worked on return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. I was about to say, he had I needed to two murder sites. I needed need a to new have one to get back to Parliament Tower. More powers with him. A new draft of initiation. Wait, there's a... It's kind of flooded in here now. Masks. Initiation 7. My hair's a little longer, I think. Either that or it's... It's long. Talk to Mr. Door. Okay, well, before we do that... We can switch reality, which we won't do. Shoebox. I mean, we're good, I think. A quick save, though. Yeah, it's it was locked. locked from the other side. Yeah, we gotta talk to Mr. Door. Okay, here we go. This guy reminds me so much of Lance Reddick, the late actor. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask. But you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules. Endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky. You know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. Your daughter. You keep opening doors. It's Peaking gotta be. In. It's gotta Reaching be. Reaching through to get what you want and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say.
door, Zane. The masks were finally coming off. Mm. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. We gotta get him out of here. I know I'm supposed to go that way, right? Disappear. Wake. Damn, another one. Well, Wake. I mean, should we go this way? Escape the talk show studio. Does it go this way? The no. door was locked. Yes, I know. How about you disappear? You follow me in here, you creepazoid. Okay. Wait, this is... Is this the same as before? I'm not really sure. Um... Do we have to go through... Oh wait, do we go through here? There's a janitor's bucket there. No, I think we, the, the exit is like right here. Locks door is on the right. Oh yeah, we can't go in there. God, stop scaring me like that. Here is the light at the end of the tunnel. Hi, Ati. Wow, that held you close, Tom. I want to go on and set the cranny in the snow. When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Door didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. Say an olisk. What films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinemas? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get to my apartment. <laughs> I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... Mikä se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. They are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. We can finally go through here. Uh, which I don't think we've been before. Yeah. Yeah, because it was blocked off before. So there's a shoebox in the basement once, Jack. Uh... I mean, I guess we could... I'm not sure if that helped or not. But I just went ahead and took it. I would find Alice's photos in a shoebox. Right, I guess... Oh wait. I was about to say not here, but maybe... No, we should do it. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, I was about to say, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be up there. The Harry Garrett show. Oh my goodness. I'm guessing the shoebox isn't back here, yeah? Guitar amps, bro. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, it just goes to the same place. You never know with games like this. Hi. Looking for a shoebox. Got any shoeboxes down here? Or? Oh my god. How did I make it here? You got a shoebox? Hello? Hmm. Oh, oh, here we go. A bullet of light to push the darkness away. I These saw were Alice's photos. Oh no. Alice. I recognize the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet. No, we still gotta escape. My talk show studio. Okay, I took it. Oh. Stop coming back. That's not cool. Wake, wake, wake. You're stuck in a floor. Alan, wake. Are you guys about to ambush me or what? Alan, wake. Alan, wake. This is my story. This is Alan, my story. You guys are delusional, man. You're in my story. Actually don't know if this is correct. I went down and got the photographs. So now I'm heading back, yeah? Go ahead. Oh jeez. Don't make me use this on you. Stop. Keep wondering if they're gonna attack or not. Alan, wait. There is no escape. Wait. How many of you guys are here? Wait. There's like three of you. Goodbye. Alan, wait. We actually don't know wait. if that. Where do I go? Uh. Wait. Is it is it not this way? I thought it was. Alan, wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Goodbye. Um. Oh, this was. This was right. Is it not in here? Didn't I? Oh, I can't remember. You go up here. Okay. Okay, I did it. All oh, right, this whole area. I think. Oh. Did I do it? Okay. Oh, God, there's no more words. Where's he going tonight? 
It's very anxiety inducing. We can go back, we can switch realities. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch realities. Actually, I, wa I wonder how much of Alan's story is, is left. Hmm. Now, I know that we can't do a whole lot of, like, saga story without storing the end game. So we'll probably end up doing mostly Alan stuff in the next few videos. Um, but we're kind of hitting the near the hour mark right now, so... I'm wondering if we don't take a little side, uh, excuse me, if we don't take a little side, uh, uh, I think you may be right. Sorry, I keep, I keep Might have been a mistake to interrupting these paranormal investigators over here. They're very distracting. Um, what was I doing? Uh, okay. The car is right here. So we don't want to go to Cauldron Lake, we want to go to Watery. Just because there's a couple of things I still need to do there. So, guess what, we're going to go do them. Oh, Watery is creepy. You know where you are? That's right, you're in Silent Hill. Holy shit. It's 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 like officially nighttime now. I can't believe this lady's still here. Anyway, okay, so see this? We got to get this cult stash here. We also got to get this cult stash here. We can use the bolt cutters right here and here. And maybe if we can figure out how we can get into the lighthouse. I don't know how to do that really. Um, which I did actually. Let me take a look at the maps real quick. Let's see. Cauldron Lake. Can I, can I check that one out? Yeah, so... Oh, we use the screwdriver and that thing. We haven't been to the rental cabins. I guess that's where Endgame is? The rental cabins? Hmm. In any case, um... Yeah, we've done... We've done all the cold stashes everywhere else. we just got two here that we need to get. So, yeah, let's get to it. Chop, chop. Holy crap. I, I, I like can't get over the atmosphere here. Look at this. Foggy as shit. What are you doing out here? You guys are so creepy. Watery people. <laughs> oh no. Heal real quick. Wait, why do I not have the hunting rifle? Quick slot that here. Okay. Now let's go to the Kalavala Knight's place first. We'll use the bolt cutter. We'll open the cold stash. Great. And then we'll open the other one. And then we'll call it a video. This is coffee world, actually. We don't need to go in there. We don't ever need to go in there ever again. I don't think. Yeah, you know, I'm going to reiterate uh, an opinion that I keep having about this game, which is that it's the best Silent Hill game in like 20 years. I mean, I kind of thought that the first Alan Wake was very similar to Silent Hill in a lot of ways. But this one, this one's even, oh, oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll take those and. 
Who is laughing? What is so funny? Is something funny? Huh? I don't remember telling a joke. Yeah? Who's laughing? You think you can get away with this? You think you can just laugh? Like everyone's gonna find your jokes funny? Yeah? You think it's that funny? Huh? Hey, you're probably right. Probably a little funny. Okay, so now if I remember correctly, there's a cold stash over here. Uh, Another here it is. one of those cult boxes. She can't believe it. Let's roll. Okay. Not good. We're all good. I can't believe there's three of these guys. Body and oh my god! There's two of these guys? Like, fuck off. No, I moved out of the way, dude. I moved out of the way. Okay, um, this sucks. Did I get him? Oh, what? Wow, these guys sucked. Y'all sucked, bro. <sighs> okay, let's get this. Now I can actually figure this out. Spare parts. Oh, wait. Huh? The code is how many spare parts are, are spare parts around here? Ferris wheel, rocket ship things, boats, boat things? Am I supposed to count how many are around here? Surely not around Coffee World. That's not what you want me to do, is it? You don't want me to go around Coffee World. Figuring that shit out. Okay, okay. Here's one of the rocket things. Two of the rocket things. Okay, and then these are Ferris well, uh, fer Ferris wheel pieces. Ferris well, Ferris wheel pieces. Okay, so one, two, three. So we got three, two, zero at the moment. It's it's not around this whole area, is it? So three to two. Four, five, five, two, zero. Five, two, one. Five, three, one, five, four, one. Five, four, two. Let's go ahead and try five, four, two. So there's five Ferris wheel pieces. There's four rocket ship things. 
and there's two of the boat things and i think that's what it wants let's find out thank you i'm putting it in writing here that operation bigger is better is simply not possible from an engineering perspective i know he loves his crazy ideas but his schematic looks like a damn comic book charlene drew it for him didn't she it can't be done hmm okay so we got that cult stash uh and that's great and everything else is taken care of <gasps> there's a cult stash back in water i didn't even see that one. Oh, that's really annoying okay well, we'll get this we'll get the bolt cutters and then we'll go get that one That's going to take a little longer than I thought. You know what? We don't want to drag this out too long. Maybe we'll put in a little break. Maybe... Oh. Are somebody in there? Let's go. Let's go save. Oh, it's the parade float. Oh, my God. Okay. I was like, what is... This place is still pretty creepy, though. All right, I'm gonna save in here. Next video, we'll wrap up the cult stashes. All right, okay. And um, I already read this, right? I read all this stuff. Um, yeah, and then uh, after we wrap up the cult stashes here in Watery, then we'll go back and do more Alan stuff. And uh, I'm not sure how much of the game is really left at this point. I guess we're coming up quick on the climax. But yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Think critically.